John and I went to a poetry reading once where a couple of black women presented a poem which spoke to the issue of white women. Actually, it wasn't white women taking black men away from them. It was addressing directly to the black men, why are you going... Do you remember any of the lines? It was actually very derogatory. Of course. And Of course. And isn't that, isn't that what we're not talking about here? It was really accusatory to black men. Why are you leaving us for these white women? And I kind of looked at John like, gosh, you know, I mean, it's not even an issue with me. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's different because I don't know what the black experience is and what all of that is about. But Debbie, there is, and you admit it, maybe not in your soul, but there is, this is a generalized feeling. This is a widespread, widely held feeling among African-American women, is it not? I think that, yeah, there are a large number of Isn't African this the new Americans. frontier when it comes to criticizing, you know, guess who's coming to dinner? It's not the white family, although they are, I think, generally speaking, Dr. Cyril, you know better than I, mm -hmm. but generally speaking, I would guess that the white families are less accepting than the black families, oh, black generally families speaking. black families are definitely more accepting. Uh, but now this is the new frontier. Mm -hmm. Black families may be more accepting because I'm sure that uh, Leonard's family was more mm -hmm. accepting than Kathy's. Yes, they were. Yeah. I'm t well, we were brought up that way. I was, I was always taught to love people in general. My family came from a very, I came from a very religious background, and they did put uh, love in one another, and sharing, and just being human beings is most significant. But now you have this new frontier of this situation. You have black women. First of all, you've got a lot of problems. You've got the fact that one-third of all African-American men, for reasons that have a lot to do with race and racism, are behind bars, on parole, or on probation. So now you've got two-thirds of the male population left over. Mm -hmm. all right, of the two-thirds of the male population left over, some and in increasing numbers are marrying white women or dating white women. Mm -hmm. So it is natural, is it not, that there is the feeling that Queen Latifah portrayed so well in Jungle Fever, that kind of resentment. There is that kind of resentment. I, I, see it as, as, a, as a reflection of them. Mm -hmm. We take it personally because we feel rejected. And um, for me personally, I just, like to, I just think that it's, I don't take it as a reflection of me. I don't feel like I was passed over by the man of my dream or whatever. I feel like I'm a, I'm a beautiful black woman and I don't need to feel validated by a black man who's going with a white woman. If that's what he chooses to do, then that's his business and he's probably not my type anyway. So. You know, <laughs> you know. But is it not a fact, Dr. Brooks, that the black women who are marrying white men are women who would almost inevitably get, I mean, these are very marriageable women. You know what I mean? It goes back to that thing about, you understand what I'm saying? That it, according to the, all I know is what I read in Jet Magazine. According to the article. <laughs> Not a good source. <laughs> Not the only source. <laughs> according, according, according to the article, and, and really it jives with my life experience. Okay. Uh, black men marry lots of different kinds of white women, mm -hmm. but white men marry upscale black women who could marry Tom, Dick, or Harry if they wanted to. The white one, the yellow one, the, the red one, okay. if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. Is okay. that true? Do you agree with that? I would say there's more of a trend of that. I would wonder what happens to someone like myself who is biracial with a white appearance. Where do, you know, where do I fit? Mm -hmm. um, would... Uh, I've been asking myself that question almost my whole life. I'm serious. Is that right? Really? Because what right? am I? Yeah, what am I? I'm a half-breed. I don't consider myself a half-breed. I think that's a derogatory term. I use it only to identify myself. Yes. yes. There are fewer African-American men that are available to um, African-American women, and I could see why some African-American women might feel that, you know, you're kind of okay, no, okay. taking I, I, our goods. I'm not going to let you get away with that. I'm not gonna, <laughs> like, like those some African-American women you were talking about, those some, are you happen to be part of that some a little bit? Yes. All I mean, right, all right. So, there are so some say eligible right. African-American yes. women out here that are available and that are professional and that would make great wives, mates, girlfriends, and everything else. And I don't think it's a coincidence that when African-American men become very successful, all of a the sudden they become colorblind. Do you feel at all um, upset about the fact that so many 
pr uh, prominent, very, very prominent, I named just a couple, very prominent African Americans have married outside their, I don't know what you call it, I don't want Johnny to get mad at me again, <laughs> but, uh, you know, people of different colors. Um, as I said, I don't think it's a coincidence that when people get more green, all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, they're colorblind, well, they don't, you know, they don't have to be black anymore, they're not African American anymore. Alana? I'm a single woman, and I don't plan on being single. Like I said before, I have a preference for black men, and I don't expect to be single. I don't plan on being single for the rest of my life. I want to have kids, and I want to get married, and married? I, I plan on marrying a black you're man. Well, you, oh, you got a girlfriend? Is that her sitting there? No, that's not. Oh, oh, your sister. All right. I was, I was just going to fix you up there. but uh, You had a question? Okay. Yeah, I have a comment. Doesn't all this make you want to throw up? Like, it, this is really stupid. I have a girlfriend that's Spanish, you know? I, I got a son. He's black and, and Spanish, Latino, right? Personally, I can care less for anybody thinks. You know, when God put us on this earth, he didn't put us on this earth to, to hate one another, to, to go with a white woman or a black woman. John. Uh, you had to make comment about that. Uh, Jackie and I said the same thing when we were called by the show. Uh, why do they want to talk to us? We're about as normal as you can get. Uh, how boring can you get? We have no problems. Uh, this is my wife. We're, we're accepted in the community, and, and if people do double takes at us, I tell her it's because she's cute. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that's is that because that thing true. you got hanging on that mustache? <laughs> yeah. that, that's absolutely true. Uh, we, we were really quite surprised when we were accepted to come on the show because we don't have any problems. We live on we the Mars. We emphasize normalcy here. So we, other we shows. Do. That you know, really. <laughs> well, I, I take it as an insult to say that black men uh, select white women just because of the color of their skin. I think it is deeper than that. I think that men uh, ex uh, uh, select white women for the same reason that people of the same skin color select one another. And it's because they have an attraction to each other. When I met my wife, I had, I had no plans to marry a white woman. I never dated a white woman. And I just happened to go to a party and they set me at the table with her. And we just happened to get along. And things happened over time. And that's why we got married. It wasn't because of the color of our skin. Johnny, do you reject this whole notion of the prize? Uh, no, because I think psychologically that it certainly happens in our society. You can't have the kind of institutional ingrained racism in, really? in, that you've had and not have this. I think, however, the, the point about when people attain a level of, of financial stability, it goes right back to what the doctor said. It has, I think, more to do with environment. If you are I around, think it has a lot to do with environment. If you are around people and not around these people. It's just like police arresting people. Why are more, more people are arrested in this community? Hey, there are more police here than over in Beverly Hills, right? right I don't want to get in that discussion okay. either. <laughs> Christopher? I just, I really don't see the big fuss about white people marrying black people. I mean, it's not really... How about freckled people? <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It's the cutest kid. It's a tight shot. I just don't see what the big fuss is about. I mean, we're all people. We should be treated just like as people, not as black or white. Good job, Chris. My final thoughts. When my Jewish mom announced that she was marrying my Puerto Rican father, her family, I swear to God, I mean this literally, went into mourning. They sat shiver, they went into mourning. That's the Jewish ritual. It was a wound in my family that took decades to heal. It wasn't that long ago that every white parent's nightmare was that their little girl might come down with what used to be called jungle fever. Organized racists, you remember this? Ten minutes ago, made the lives of interracial couples absolute hell. Many states outlawed. It was, out, it was a felony to marry interracially. Thank goodness that so much has changed from the days of Jim Crow, from the days of racial purity, from the days of Johnny Spain's life in Jackson, Mississippi in 1949. Today, we have plenty of racial bitterness still. But even with that, individuals are, like these youngsters, judged much more by the strength of their character than by the color of their skin. But we have to be realistic. Before you take a leap into the interracial scene, you should know there is no doubt that having a mixed racial identity can cause some problems. That's the fact of life. Even if the problem is as simple as which box you check when it asks you what race you are. I still don't know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye -bye.